Myers here. Denise Myers here. And we're, we're uh, Road Warrior Investors, and we are in? Oh, we're in Normandy Park, Washington. It's a little suburb just south of Seattle, Washington. Uh, it's a beautiful neighborhood here. I think the sound is just a hop it's over. That way. It's that way. <laughs> I get turned and around. obviously we're in the field. And we are. We are back in the field yep. again. Yep. So the fun fact about this particular home, we actually were the original uh, buyer on this particular mm -hmm. home. And we wholesaled it to a local investor here. And they are almost done with the rehab. So yep. we thought we would go check mm -hmm. it out. That investor, Cynthia, is not available this evening, but she gave us access to the house. And so let's go see a little bit about the house. Well, before we do, you want to share kind of what it yeah, looked like before? This is a, um, this is a, I think it's a 40s house. Okay. So it, it older. Um, the original owner lived here for a long time. I think he bought this in the 70s, lived here all up until he passed away. Mm -hmm. And it was full of, uh, it was full of everything. Everything under the sun. It was yeah. just outdated and uh, ready for a refresh. Mm -hmm. I know that uh, the investors spent some money rewiring the house and permitting all that because it was um, it was in need of sure. some major stuff. Yeah. But well, overall, I mean, this this neighborhood is very this is very typical of Normandy Park neighborhood. This kind of style of house. So you know, it's, it's, it's a great. beautiful neighborhood. The yard is huge. You don't see yards yeah. this large anymore. Oh, well, it's just funny. Probably, probably back then this was a small yard. Oh, probably, yeah. But now it's a big yard. From the front yard to the back yard, both sides are huge. Uh, so we've got a lot of space for kids to play and stuff. And you got a closed back mm -hmm. fenced yard in the back that we'll go check out here in a minute. But before we do, should we go check out the inside? I think we see should. What, uh, see what they're doing. Cool. Have you seen that it's not done? No. It's very close. Um, we know the contractor did the work on this one. He's a, he's a very good guy. Uh, does fantastic work. So this is a uh, this is nice to see it this far along. The last thing we saw it was full of stuff. <laughs> contractor. Stuff piled up in yeah. here, just garbage and furniture. It was pretty gross. That was before the clean out. Yeah. We actually held what's called an investors open here as well. Yeah. Uh, and so if you're not familiar with what an investor's open is, very similar to an open house. An open house, you know, is, is a house is on the market, it's open, the, the real estate broker will open it up and you can come tour it uh, and buy it if you want to. We do the same thing um, for investors and we do what's called an investor's open and we'll have the house available for the people to come walk through, investors or someone who's interested in the house. Um, and they come walk through. We'll kind of open up for about two or three hours. They come walk through, check it out. If they have questions, they can answer because we own the house and they can ask questions along the way or they can make the offer. We have a price in mind and we go from there. If the yep. numbers work on both sides, we lock it up. If not, then we continue on. So we actually hold investors open quite often. Yep. Okay. So back to the house? Yes, sorry. So when you say this house got new windows, got some new trim. Paint, a lot of drywall patching, got some new lights. Uh, everyone likes can lights. They did um, a really good job. It's very bright in here. It was not we bright should, before. We should start, we're starting through through here. It was always in the living room. Um, the house they got a new furnace, they didn't paint the fireplace, we're not quite done. Uh, this was here. Very, very correct. Got a nice line of flooring in it, which was the perfect color for here. Mm -hmm. uh, we're still waiting on the final. Uh, everybody be done electrical, so it's still hanging out with the electrical. And you made a good point earlier, this, this vintage, the 1940s vintage, we found typically, you'll see houses that randomly just burn down, right? And it's typically because of the wiring back in the day. We did a lot of wiring issues. It's hard to say. People overload wiring now because back when these houses were built, you didn't have a modem to plug in, a computer, a cell phone, all that stuff. Now we do, then they didn't. They just right. had a toaster and a few kitchen appliances. Yeah. So the houses weren't able to handle the load that we right. now. So, and so that's where you'd see those fires. So you'd see yeah. a complete wire rejob and yeah. that fully permitted. This, this was still this was still in other progress. We're still waiting on, I think she's waiting on that final hookup and put the panel on gotcha. it. But nevertheless, let's kind of go through the team with your house, shall we? Let's do it. Yeah. So it looks great. I mean it's a perfect color. This is what people want. Yeah. So, and these are the this is the heating, another heating source right here. Let's move this out before. That's the uh, intake. Oh, that's intake. So what do you mean by intake? Well, so that I think I, I don't know, intake or exhaust. I think she might just be a vent. I'm not sure what that's for. Okay. There's the vents over there. Okay. Oh, it does have, does have a new furnace. Yeah, I'm not sure. Here's the intake here. That's probably going to be past. Oh, okay, gotcha. Because originally this house had a coil furnace and it was decommissioned a long time ago. Mm -hmm. But the furnace that the guy had in here was real old too. So 
They had to redo that, and that's why those rain brain got us. Oil tanks is a whole new conversation. We won't go into that today, but I know you've had several conversations with the investor here uh, just to help kind of educate a little bit in terms of oil tanks, what to do, how to find them, yeah, if they're still on the property. There was a whole conversation on the back end. Anyways. It, was, it was pretty interesting to hear. Right. So, um, I can't turn on lights because I don't know. There's no lights, that's okay. We're still working on the electrical. But we have a bathroom, um, furnace, and two bedrooms back here. This is the one, one bathroom. Looks like the investor is kind of going for a, uh, um, yeah, what do you call it, a European feel? European style toilet. It's definitely got the um, stacked tile instead of the brick lay. It's a stack, so all the seams line up. It's very um, pretty. Yeah, it's got nice quartz, new tub, new tile, all new valves, fixtures, interesting toilet, but hey, it works. New doors, um, the light is not working this bedroom either. That's okay. This one it's is, which is just a bedroom, so closet, pretty typical bedroom, the typical size of the vintage too. So the area. And then I'm seeing like this here, is that for the um, fire alarm? This is for the, I guess it'll be for the smoke alarm. Smoke alarm. So to modern tell they'll have, uh, they'll have it where it's, uh, all the smoke alarm has to be wired together. Mm -hmm. So I don't think I should buy it. Um, here's a here's a wire that makes them continuous. So if one smoke alarm goes off, they all go off. Right. The one that goes off, it sends a signal for here and they all go off. So that's a newer thing. I think the early 2000s, they did that for all the houses. Okay. This house, now it's with new wiring, it has to fall under the coat, and it's safer if it works for the Closet, another bedroom. <clears throat> They did a, Joe and his team did a great job on the trim and from the, from the floor up they did a really good yeah. job. Yeah. I've also noticed this team does a really good job on their paint job. We've noticed that yeah. before. They did, absolutely. Yeah. They did. And there's another smoke alarm location from here. Yeah. Do you think they're going to do anything different with these lights? Are they going to change those out, you think, with well, a different uh, sconce of some kind? Oh, of course. That's, yeah. I think that's part of the leftover from original. <laughs> They'll, they'll trim it all out once the electric is signed off, everything is done. They'll trim it all out right now. We're just kind of, everyone's waiting for, yeah, for everyone else to finish. Let's go check out the kitchen. The kitchen, kitchen is different. It's yeah. different than what we've seen before, but I think in this area it should work out really well. It's, it's a small space. And uh, you, you called it out earlier. It's uh, because of the small space, uh, the investor has really worked to maximize the counter space in here. She's done that. By just having a little smaller appliance and more of the European style, you were saying, yep. appliance set, which is a smart idea. Um, this would be great if it was a couple or a single person. Yeah, yeah. this is yeah. it's a small kitchen. I think originally the sink was right here. It was just very small. Now it's bigger, having the smaller appliances. But it's still like, it's still big enough. I think she'll put shelves up here as well, I guess. Oh, that's a good idea, yeah. And they got all new stuff for all new wiring here. They actually set, left the boxes out a little bit. That way, a tile can go in here and the box will be the same depth as the tile. So, I, I'm assuming she'll tile all of this okay. back here. That's why the gas stove is not hooked up, obviously. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, you still have all your amenities, even with the small kitchen. You've got the microwave, uh, you've got a, a gas powered oven and stove, yeah. which is yeah, fantastic. A little dishwasher, yeah. which is great. And then you've got a, a full uh, refrigerator. So, yeah. um, you still have all the amenities that you would need. And this house, is a true brick house. It's not a veneer. This actually is solid brick all around. Wow. You so don't this see is, that very This is an interior wall. Yeah. I'm assuming at one point this was a garage. I don't know mm -hmm. if this has been like this since we got it, but um, the investor just wanted to finish it off. And so she kind of did a little accent here, mm -hmm. but left this brick because it is, it is it's pretty it's cool. Beautiful, yeah. And we'll go out of the, this room here. It's a little dark. Just wiring. Watch out for the. Stuff on the floor. Yeah. So, so this, this one. Is, go ahead. So she's gonna leave this this wall painted. Just leave the brick. Okay. Uh, and always get a can lights in here. There's a heating ducts. Um, there's a washer and dryer closet behind uh, over there. Oh, that's where the washer and dryer. That's where washer and dryer go, and there's a, there'll be a door over the water heater. Yeah. And then a door the here. <laughs> and here go, door going out. To the backyard. backyard. That's a big backyard. You got a shed back there and everything. Yep. Like I said, um, it's a true brick house. So yeah. This is not a big house, but this area this actually will sell really well. 
Well, this is great space. So if you wanted an extra little living room or office room for the family or whatnot, you put a big screen television back here and just have your space back here. Yeah, I don't know if they're putting a closet. They're not even putting a closet over there. Oh, okay. So you could have a, maybe a, a third bedroom then. Yeah. They're also, um, in this area, it's really about convenience too. You know, the airport's close by, a yeah. lot of commuting. Um, it's a highly desirable part of Seattle. Yeah. Normandy yeah. Park actually is its own city. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. so what's well, worth. So, nice. Well, that's the inside. I think, uh, did we want to go check anything out in the back, out on the outside? Uh, you know, I don't know. It's just a big yard. We can't. Let's go check out the backyard. Let's see if we can sneak out the, uh, Ooh, the side door. Yeah. <gasps> don't lock it. <laughs> don't lock it. <laughs> yeah, you were calling up. This is a true original brick house. It sure is. Look at that. Yeah, it just got painted. And then now talk to us about this. This is this is something they've they clearly added. What what why did they add that? So the original windows were all the way across. Mm -hmm. They had like one opening window, the rest okay. is fixed. And right now you gotta order those because you can't get them. But instead of um, ordering windows and waiting for them, which takes a long time, they actually just use store bought uh, size windows. These are like six by threes, I think. Okay. Six by three or four. And they use this filler panel to fill in the gap to make the size opening correct because okay. obviously you can't fill in the no. brick very easily so they did that uh, actually it, it makes for a better install too because it's able to use the nail fins on the oh, that's window nice. here too that's good and then i see they even flashed it and stuff too there's a flash right it. yeah the yeah. flash right here so if water gets here it'll hit here and it won't go underneath but it's flashing come down and this is all caulked nice and we pulls it here did a good job yeah and so this is another alternative other than waiting, say, anywhere from three to six months right now for the, the uh, original yeah, we, size. We have ordered windows in a while, but last time it was like three was, to six months. Yeah, it was, was crazy. crazy. Yeah. Um, it was a yeah. long lead time. But I think also think it, the accent makes it nice too. It does. It breaks it up. And, and it's, they've been consistent throughout the home. And I wonder if knowing this investor that's going to be painted black to a line to no, the rest of the house, it. or are they going to leave that? This is, I think it's just finished. Oh, it's it's still pretty. I do like it. Yeah, actually, actually it accents because the roof is... Brown, brown, okay. Instead of black, because this is a, one of the roofs that the last owner put on, which is still mm -hmm. pretty new. So, no sense changing a roof that can't be more than a few years old. Sure. And this house will only be maybe another couple of weeks, which should be done. Yeah. So they'll probably blow that roof off too before. Oh yeah, they'll yeah. clean the we'll all over. We'll yeah. Do the final clean. The house needs to be clean. There's a light for outside. Yeah. You know the outlet. You can see the. Oh, you can also see they painted. I still got the blue tape. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw some stuff patch. Yeah. I don't know what was out of here. It was a few things to patch still. But the yard is looking great. I know that they've cleaned this up. This looks a lot better than before. You couldn't even get out here before. No. I mean, you really could walk. It was all sticker. But we didn't even know that existed. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't know that shed was even there until we started trimming back. And, oh, my gosh, the shed here. Yes, it, it was beautiful. full of junk. Yeah, it was. Awesome. And there is an actual garage here, too. We won't go in it, but there's a one-car garage. There. Yeah. That's nice. That's a great space. Yeah. All right. And here is a completed house, ready for the market. This original 1953 house has been transformed into 2024 vintage, uh, three bedroom, one bath, uh, beautiful home and wonderful Normandy Park. You can see, remember from the earlier video, this has a huge yard, kind of unusual now in, in today's market for houses. Uh, brand new electrical panel, new electrical in the house, all the bricks been painted, new front door, you see we enter into the um, definitely European style kitchen. However, it's very functional with full appliance suite, all new, beautiful LVP flooring, um, new windows. Um, all these houses are staged, so it's, it looks like it's, it's lived in. Um, staging definitely helps uh, bring out the best in these houses. Um, check out all the uh, new fixtures, doors, uh, bathrooms, beautiful. Uh, it's got a little, the shower has the, the glass partition on it, which is um, kind of a modern touch. Uh, definitely nice tile all the way around the walls, which is unique. Um, this is one of the back bedrooms. Um, fantastic space. Got a big closet. All new trim, doors, floors, uh, lights. This is bedroom number two with a double closet. And make our way back to the living room and back up to the kitchen. You see a fireplace off to your left is... Uh, all painted, looks nice. Um, it's a great, great space for entertaining. Um, pretty private up front as well. Uh, there's your dining space. And we're back to the kitchen. Um, definitely uh, works really well for this, for this area. 
and I'll head out to the bedroom number three, or this could be a flex room. Uh, this is staged as a bedroom. However, this could be uh, whatever room you want. There's a closet in there. There's also the washer and dryer closet as well. And we'll head out into the backyard, which is uh, made over really nice. Um, big space, mature landscaping. There's a shed back there that we didn't know existed when we purchased the house and sold it to the other investor. Um, all new windows. Uh, the painted white brick looks uh, very modern, nice touch. We labeled this video Flipping 101. Um, we wanted to emphasize what it takes to actually rehab a house and to see it when it's almost done and actually see it done and talk about some of the points. And I hope that the viewers got a few uh, tidbits of information that will help them in their future rehabs. Definitely look for more of these kind of videos in the near future. Thank you. If you like this kind of stuff, we're going to like, follow, and subscribe. And there's this bell thing you're supposed yeah, to hit do. Yeah, hit the uh, <laughs> notification bell, I guess it is, so-called, right? Mm, that's Something right. Something like that. Something like that. <clears throat> that's right. So. so we're out in the field today. It's yep. been fun, and we look forward to seeing you in the field with us again.